Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Say. How the devil are you, mate? I'm so sorry I didn't upload yesterday, but I'm here today. Okay? This video, this channel, I should say, is being highly recommended. And when I say highly recommended, mate, I get so many emails and tweets specifically f for me to react specifically to this channel. And the channel was called Project Dark Knight Horror. Okay, if you didn't understand that, that's Project Dark Knight Horror. Make sure you go over to their channel, subscribe, and do the thing. This video is called Paranormal Videos That Make You 100% Believe in Demons! Warning, proceed with caution. That's what I'm talking about, mate. That's what I want. Now, this is going on for an hour and 16 minutes, but we're not going to do the whole lot because I want to test the water. I want to see if you like it. So we're going to go through half of it, and then um, if you want me to continue on with this video, please let me know. And um, anyway, without further ado, dar diddly day. Let's do this. Go Hello, on, Project Dark Knight Horror! And welcome back to the channel. You're watching Project Dark Knight Horror, and I am your host, Miss Cilla Black! No. Today, we're going to be focusing on ghosts, poltergeists, and demons. Okay. We're going to take a deep dive into the world of the paranormal. So stick the kettle on, make a cup of tea, and let me show you the truth. Sounds like what I say. <laughs> Get yourself a cup of tea, get yourself a cup of coffee, let's go. It's that time again. So close the door, shut the curtains, and turn off the lights, and go full screen as you get ready to watch. Paranormal videos that make you 100% believe in demons. DEMONS! Paranormal Blueprint. For my first case today, we're going to check out a TikTok account that goes by the name of Chits McGee and is owned and run by a guy called Joseph. Joseph joined TikTok in 2017 and started posting the usual funny clips and skits that we usually see from new accounts on TikTok. Mm -hmm. But then two years later, in August, something changed. Joseph posted his first paranormal TikTok that quickly went viral. I named this chapter Paranormal Blueprint because I'm going to explain to you that hauntings oh, mate, Jesus Christ. and the paranormal always follow a routine, like a blueprint. I've seen this many, many times and this account is no different. Before this all started, Joseph was a happy-go-lucky guy who was passionate about his country, joked about himself and didn't take things too seriously. But then one day, all of that changed when he was followed home by a ghost. As it took up residence in his home, the weeks and months that followed had a drastic impact on Joseph. Okay. His mood changed, and so did his appearance. Her interest. Wait, he grew a beard. <laughs> Fuck me, I've seen loads of ghosts. Slowly grew into an obsession, and as the sleepless nights followed, Joseph became another statistic in a long line of people who communicate with entities and live to regret it. Oh Christ, mate. Watch. What? All right. Watch. So I've been hearing some strange noises coming from this bathroom. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to set up this camera to record and see if we catch anything. Okay. Um, I've never caught anything on camera before, so I'm hoping that this might be the first time. But um, kind of sounds like scratches. Well, a circle's just appeared. Shh. So as Joseph turns off the bathroom light- I've seen this one. I've seen it. It's the, yeah, I've, I thought I saw it. As soon as he stood there, I was like, I've seen this right. one. If you look carefully from the right hand side, something peeks out for a second. Peeky boo! And looks straight at the camera. Now, this can be quite unbelievable to some people, but trust me when I say this happens more than you would think. So because of the paranormal post... See, what he should have done is gone in there, recorded all around, then come back, lay out the tripod, job done, you know? Joseph's account 
has got more views than ever before. So he started communicating with the entity, which we all know is a big no-no. Communi is it? Is it a big no-no? I didn't know that. Is it? So I can't even say, get the fuck out of my house, mate. Communicating establishes acknowledgement. And acknowledgement gives them power over you. Oh. It's that simple. Mm. Now you're going to see a change from a curious entity that peaks and stays far away. Okay. To a full-blown entity that walks around the house slamming and banging doors. All right. And this all came from acknowledging the entity. Jesus. Mate, if you've got a ghost at home, don't talk to it. <laughs> Watch. Well, all right. I'm all watching. Right, guys. So, um, you, you wanted an update. Um, so here is the shower. That's where the cat goes to the bathroom. Shower? Hang on. Was that a shower? Is the cat in it? What? I thought it was a toilet. So nobody's in there. Nobody's in the bathroom. Nothing's behind the door. Okay, the cat was right. in there. We're turning shower. the light off because it doesn't like the light. Here's my fiance. I don't want to be on camera. Okay. I, I don't think we should be engaging it. It's fine. Yeah. It hasn't done anything. It's not famous bloody last words, mate. Not really being too like creepy or anything. It just does. So we've been playing peekaboo. 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 Uh, oh shit. So even Joseph's fiance thought it was a bad idea to engage with the entity. But Joseph didn't listen and he continued to engage and communicate with it. He would even turn off the lights to make it more comfortable for the entity that he named Peekaboo. But as time went by, Joseph started to realize that he messed up. The novelty was quickly wearing off and Joseph could sense that menace was in the air. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you're pushing it too much, mate. Shadow Bastard um, update two. A little bit. Do you hear that? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Rambo it, mate. Go on. Charlie. Cat's right here. She doesn't seem to be worried about it. Throw the cat in there, mate. Launch the cat in there! Cat looks fucking mental. Where's your missus? So in case you didn't get it from watching that, all of the communication and engagement has given the entity power over Joseph. And now it started slamming and banging on walls. There's been a blatant shift in power and there is fear all over Joseph's face. The moral of the story is never... He does look effing tired, mate. I'll be honest with you. Unless he's put ice cubes on his eyes or something. ...communicate or acknowledge ghosts, poltergeists or demons. Unless this is what you want. Oh, shit. Here we go. I haven't, se I haven't seen some of these now. It's just me. Well, this is in the bedroom. I'm in the living room watching some TV. Some more stuff's been happening, okay? So we are going to put the camera in the bathroom. I got a little night light. We're going to keep on in here. And we're going to... Uh... Well, how, first of all, how did he know that a ghost was following him home? Or him home? Did he see the ghost? What well, ghost just follows you home? Stalkers? See what's going on. Oh shit, there's nobody. Okay, okay. Shadow Bastard update the four. The entity is now making its presence known by slamming doors and banging on walls all night long. All night because long. Because of this, Joseph hasn't been sleeping and is having a knock on effect from his appearance to work in relationships. Oh. So he decides to take some advice from his viewers and confronts the entity and tells it. To leave his home. I thought you were supposed, not supposed to talk to it. And now they're saying confront it. What the fuck? It's going to get possessed in a minute, mate. 
but it didn't go well. Oh shit! And now let's go. Let's Watch. go. All right. Um, I appreciate all the well wishes. I haven't been getting great sleep lately. Um, I don't know if it's because of this, but I'm gonna take your advice. Um, he, it's been slamming the doors again this morning. I'm just gonna tell it to get the fuck out of here. Okay? Yeah. Rambo it. All right. This is it. Yeah. You are now welcome here. Yeah. You need to leave. Get the fuck out. We are out. done with your bullshit. Uh huh. We are not gonna take it anymore. Okay? Yeah. You need to get the fuck out. Yeah. No. No. This is some fucking bullshit. Was that a fucking growl that I heard, mate? No. No. This okay? No. No. You need to get the fuck out. No. No. This is some no. Really? Really? Fuck bullshit. Mate, I'm sorry, but if you heard a fucking... <laughs> Fuck it out! I forgot it did that little after effect. <laughs> if you heard that, right? You'd be motherfucker, I'm gone! I'm gone! You wouldn't be just kicking down the door. Rambo, well, I fucking would. But most people on Earth, if they heard that shit, mate... They ain't gonna do. They ain't gonna be doobie doing that. They ain't gonna be doing that. All right. No effort. Wait. We're gonna kick it down. No. No. I'm not having it. I tell you, I'm not having it. This is my house. You're a ghost, and you're not welcome here. Something growls at Joseph from his bathroom that sounds very evil. I don't know if he heard it at the time, but yeah, I did. I couldn't find any discrepancies when I put it through an audio program, so. As far as the growl goes, I think it checks out. Another <sighs> detail you should remember about the paranormal is the activity starts and stops sporadically with every case I've researched and it always comes back stronger. <gasps> you would have thought that after all of this activity, Joseph would have learned something and realized that communicating with the entity is bad news. He's learning that this is getting maximum views, please. <laughs> But the call of social media proves too tempting to ignore. Uh -huh. So Joseph decides on a really bad course of action. Decide to get the Ouija board out and let blood trickle all over the floor and hopefully that, that brings out the demon, you know? I'm gone for a couple of days. Don't worry, guys. Everything's okay. Um, the activity has picked back up a little bit, um, but it's not too bad. Uh, we took kind of a couple of days off of TikTok just to kind of breathe for a minute and um kind of let everything kind of settle down soak in um about to have a video reach a million views which is crazy so thank you for that i appreciate That's everybody's right, suggestion you want to be thanking the bloody shadow bastard mate behind you on what should be we should be doing um i've talked to a couple people and um i'm actually going to be engaging with it I know, probably not a great idea, but we're going to be responsible, um, and I got some help, so... We're... It sounds like he's talking about, about like, the big night, where he's going to have sex or something, you know? I'm going to be ooh, engaging with it. <laughs> I've got protection, don't worry. We're going to be doing a necrophonic session. Okay. A spear pack session sound, in the sound next sexy. days. And... Super licky sexy, maybe? And some new videos should be coming up pretty soon, okay? Okay, bye. Wish me luck. Get started. I hope I last long. <laughs> What's your name? No, it didn't say fucking peekaboo. It didn't say peekaboo. Make a wish. Are you mad that I insulted you the other day? Yeah, I don't know, mate. I don't know. I, uh, I really don't know about... Unless it literally says the words, I'm not convinced. Because these things, they just sound all over the shop. It, 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 it sounds like fucking Klingon, mate.
So Joseph made three or four videos of himself using the spirit box to communicate with the entity. I didn't include these videos because of time. And I think it would be better for you to listen to them properly by visiting his channel. Okay. But needless to say that using the spirit box didn't make things any better. In fact, things got more sinister. Oh God. Run! Oh fucking hell. So oh, fucking hell. Oh God. It's like. It's fucking horrible, man. Oh, fuck you, mate. F you and F you, mate. F you. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, fuck me, mate. I can't be taking this shit. I can't be taking this shit, mate. I can't be taking this shit. Oh, God. That's horrible, man. That's fucking horrible. It's really getting into my head now. It's really getting into my head. Let's listen. Is somebody in there? Oh God. Mate, if something jumps out, oh fucking hell, if something jumps out. Oh! To the left, to the left. <sighs> to the left, to the left. What happens next is another level of scary. After Fuck. using Necrophonic to communicate with the entity, according to Joseph, the whole house became cold. So cold, in fact, that his teeth began to tremble. He could feel a presence with him, and just when he thought it couldn't get any worse, from down the hall in the darkness of the bathroom, voices could be heard loud and clear. It didn't sound like two people talking to each other. It sounded like it was talking to Joseph directly. As Joseph drew nearer to the voices, he could feel that something was in the bathroom. But when he turned on the lights, everything stopped. See, that could have been the cut. You know when it goes straight into black, right? Straight into black, it could have been a cut. Shortly after this, Joseph decided to get his home cleansed, so he called in a specialist, but it didn't work. And things got worse. Oh, great. Bloody great specialist. Okay, so my friend came again, and she did another ritual on smudging. So you got a friend who's a specialist. That's convenient. She said that the original spirits that she got rid of the first time were gone. Something else had taken their place, and it was not in the bathroom. It was standing in the corner of our bedroom. It has gotten interesting, to say the least. Um, we're now hearing footsteps in the hallway, walking past our door. Um, at odd hours, uh, the other morning, the power went out, and I was hearing the footsteps. I was trying to make a video for you guys, and I captured this oh here we go the here we go mate out. get ready get ready it's gonna go mental mate there's no power um but there's power in the other apartments it's just mine so i don't really understand why did you there's did you see i didn't see what, what what did i see what mate I don't really understand. What? What? I, what? 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 One day, the power went out in Joseph's home. He started to hear footsteps, so he started to record. What the fuck? I can't see shit, mate. I can't see shit. Sleeve and a foot? We need maximum enhancement, please. As he made his way towards the breaker box, unknown to Joseph, the entity was watching him. 
All right, I guess I should make an update. We have taken the advice of thousands of comments, and we are no longer engaging it yeah. at all. Since we've stopped acknowledging it, things have gotten very quiet and peaceful here, and it's actually not too bad. And you guys remember my friend that came? This is a, this is a seal of Solomon that she gave me to help protect and ward off anything that was evil. It's helped too. Since I've gotten this, things have gotten quieter. So I just ask that you be happy for me, that I have some peace. At last, some common sense in a mad world. So as you just heard, eventually Joseph stopped communicating me are familiar faces communicating with the entity and ceased all acknowledgement too with the combined effort of joseph and the cleansing his friend was doing the paranormal activity started to subside went to school to no case ends so easy lesson. and abruptly some no cases take months knew. sorry sorry i fucking love that tune even years to stop and every case is different i couldn't feature all of joseph's videos so if you want to watch his paranormal journey from the beginning, the name is on screen. When you message him in the comments, tell him the Dark Knight sent you. Chapter 10 La Familia Embrugada Okay. The Haunted Family. For my next case, we're traveling to Mexico to hear the story of Mexico. Of a family who for years have been plagued by the paranormal. The mother of the family is called Marsha. Okay, I, I guaranteed, like the previous one, I've probably seen a couple of the clips, but not the whole... If they're doing that like whole story about these things, then I'm probably going to see clips that I've not seen before. And she also runs the local corner shop which sells all manner of things from groceries to alcohol. The fa she reminds me of my daughter. family that consists of a husband and wife, a boy and a girl, are so used to the paranormal that people who watch this might not believe it. The spirits appear all over the home, in every room inside and outside the grounds, and also in the little shop. On oh. most nights, when Marsha is alone in the shop, she'll catch a glimpse of a head peeking around the corner. Oh, is this a fucking Michael Jackson head, mate? Or something watching from above the shelves. The paranormal activity is so... Yeah, I've seen a couple of these, man. These are freaky as F. ...bad that even their bedroom which is supposed to be a private place, has been invaded. And it's very, very scary. Yeah. So Marsha took to social media in the hopes of getting some help. This is their story. Watch. I love that. Watch. I got, I've got a feeling I've seen a lot of these, but I like the way he says the story. Oh, I haven't seen this. Pero no encontré nada. Decidí esperar y empecé a grabar. Después de revisar el video, mi terror fue cuando vi esa sombra pasar. No la noté. What's he seeing, mate? In the first clip, Marsha hears footsteps coming from somewhere in the house. So because of a trend on TikTok, she uses a filter to try and capture something paranormal. If you look towards the curtain where the blue light is, you can see something shadow oh. move across from right yes. to left. The reason Marsha uploaded this clip was because she was all alone in the house. The second alone. clip was recorded in the family shop one night. The footage is from a live that the husband and wife did for Instagram. And in the short clip, they caught a face of a woman staring at them from behind some shelves. A woman? The footage is in great quality, but you can clearly see what looks like a face staring at them. Oh God, yeah! Get in there, mate. Rambo it. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, God. Kick it in the head. Is that... What's that about? Look at you! Hey. 
Fucking hell, man. What is it with your nose as well? Twisted up, yeah, Mel Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, mate. Yeah, That's weird, man. It's weird that it's... And what, what's even more weird is it's, it's not moving away. It's not tr trying to... It's not getting out of the way. It's just staying there. Like, I don't give a shit if you're looking at me, mate. Like, deadly still. <laughs> Marsha was alone one night because her husband was at work when she noticed a container was moving from side to side. Now, as paranormal activity goes, this is quite tame. But if you couple it with the fact that stuff like this happens every night and always when she's alone, it becomes something else. Oh man, yeah, that's this weird. This is a fear tactic to feed off the fear it is producing from Marsha. The entity will do something to make a person scream and scared and from that fear is released. She's transformed into energy, which in turn feeds the entity. Oh, okay. I'm learning quite a lot on this. Don't be afraid of it. Launch it across the room. Let's go. Ay, Dios mío. Ay, sí, es cierto. Fue el bote se está moviendo. Ay, no inventes, qué miedo. Ay, Diosito Santo. Ay, Dios, ¿por qué? Ay, Run! Se sigue moviendo, si ¿sí vieron, si ¿Sí vieron. Ay, Dios mío. What? Is that the kids in the background? Get your kids! Hey! 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 Get some milk. Yeah, get some leche. What? What? We're gonna see it. We're gonna see it now. We're gonna see it, mate. I can feel it in my bones. Look at that fucking mannequin there. I like, sort it out. Get rid of it. What are you looking at? What, what, what are you trying to look at? Fucking hurry up! What's about to happen, man? I'm on the edge here, mate. Of glory! Where's the fucking doll gone? Where's the mannequin gone? Is that the same place? Was that the same location? Hey! Am I freaking out here, mate? No, it must have been another area. It must have been another area. It must have been. Just heard a noise? Mate, how long is it that you're taking snacks? If I wanted a snack, I'd be in and out there, mate, because I'm hungry. I want a snack. Let's see. I want to see. Oh, go on then. She's ramboing it. She's ramboing it. There you go. It was another area. Everything is okay. Nothing's there. Uh-huh. Oh fucking hell, mate! What? Oh shit in hell, mate! It's a face. Look. Oh shit! No. We need a enhancement there, mate. Up to grab some milk and bread for her son, but just as she's about to leave, she hears something which piques her curiosity. See, there's nothing at the top there now.
After checking, she can't see anything abnormal, so she decides to leave. Investigate. And she investigates. But then she hears something again. And this time she goes deeper into the shop yeah. to make sure everything is okay. Little does she know, but Marsha is being watched by a spirit. As she turns around, high above in plain terrifying sight, Look. something is watching her. Is that face again, isn't expect, it? She screams and runs away. These are the moments that ghosts pull to I just wish I saw the face a little bit clearer because it just seemed like a, a b blob, really. Person demons live for. It's the thrill of the scare. And it's that very fear that feeds them. Ayer vine a lavar y ahorita ya nada más estoy doblando la ropa que, que ya se secó. Incluso hasta apagué la tele. I'm just trying to remember if I've seen these or not. Para ver si I've, I've, I recognize that, that cupboard. Voy a seguir llevando la ropa. Ahí está el niño. Was that a noise? Look at the state of that fucking doll, mate. What the fuck? Look at the state of that doll. What? What? Come back. Come back to the room. Oh, the doll's gone. Well, that could be easily set up, couldn't it? Pero no déjenme seguir acomodando la ropa. Fucking hell, mate. Oh, the dolls are there. Hey! Ay, qué susto. Ay, Dios mío. ¿Qué está pasando? Es que aquí no hay nada. Look at look at the teddy. Look at the teddy. Is there a string on it or anything like that? In investigate, come on. What the hell? I feel so hot right now. Come on! Come on, ghosty. What was he doing again? No me ayudaste a guardar la ropa, mami. Mira, ya se me lo tiraron. Kids are like, I don't give, I don't give fuck, mate. Cartoons are on. Tengo muchísimo calor. Mira, a ver. Porque sí. The teddy's gone back up there a bit. Oh shit in hell! The doll's back. No. No way, man. Look, and the, te the teddy's back there? No. Oh, man, this is a little bit too much, mate, is it? What the fuck was that on the left there, then? What? What was that on the left there, then? Right up here. Yo tengo que ser fuerte. What? Marsha is at home with the kids, getting on with everyday chores around the house while looking after them. Then all of a sudden, she hears something over the TV. After listening for anything paranormal, she carries on with her chores. As she leaves the room, she turns off the light, but on returning back to the same room, she notices the doll has moved off its chair. <sighs> Cut for time. Good stuff. Okay, all right, we know what happened. 
Where's the dad at this now, point? Is that work think about maybe? what's happening here. Her husband, Joshua, is at work most of the Thank time you. because they need the money. Marsha is left at home to deal with these everyday occurrences and it doesn't matter who you are. After a while, these occurrences will take a toll on the mind and body. They know Marsha is prone to fear and more vulnerable and she's home alone. And she's always second guessing herself, which is bad for her mental health. <sighs> I guess what I'm trying to say is there's a lot more to the paranormal that we don't talk about. Mm. Well. During the last Christmas season, Marsha and the kids were decorating a Christmas tree that was gifted to her by the kid's grandmother. The video is of the family sharing a special moment and it's a rare opportunity for Marsha to relax. I fucking love Christmas, mate. Absolutely love Christmas. Just that picture alone, so magical, right? And be happy. But her happiness doesn't last because from the shelf high up on the left hand side of the screen, the doll flies off and lands on the floor. No. What? And scare the kids? Comparto un poquito de mi felicidad. Hoy fuimos con su abuela y les tenía una sorpresa para su nueva casa. I think they're missing the very top of that tree, aren't they? It's just like cut off. Just stick, stick one of the things, bend one of the things up. It's freaking, freaking my OCD out. I've got OCD, but whatever. Shit! Kids, run! <laughs> Better than there's nobody there. There's nobody there, and that girl picks it up, mate. Okay, that 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 just makes it a little bit more legit to me. Now you can tell that this wasn't faked by the shadow yeah. of the doll. Yeah. If it was thrown by someone off screen, it would have shown by where the shadow came from. Plus, immediately, Marsha panned the camera towards the shelf. So, what yes. do you think? Do you agree? Let me it's a bloody doll again, mate. Maximum hair doll. Let me know down below if you think this is real. Headache? No, too right you got a bloody headache, mate. That would be so convenient, wouldn't it? Having a convenience store in your house. I mean, I would just be eating all the time. <sighs> Oh, that, 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 that shop looks freaky deaky, man. What, what are we looking at? What are we looking at? What are we looking at again? I'd sell up, mate. If you've got shit like this going on, sell up. What? Oh fucking hell, mate! I saw it, mate. Do you see the see the eyeball? Do you see the eyeball? Dang! Dang! Look at you! Look at you with your silver bloody eyeball, mate! Oh shit, okay. Bam bam. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell, mate. You need to ramble that and kick it in the bloody head. I, 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 want, I want to see his body, you know? What, what does it look like? It looks about three foot tall. What is it? What the hell is it? And why is it you can see that one, but you can't see... You can't see it when the toys are being thrown. Is there, like, multiple ghosts in there? Yeah. 
la semana. Ven aquí ando porque está bien lleno de polvo la casa. ¿Y tú ya hiciste lo que te mandé, hija? Sí. ¿Ya viste que ya pusieron a la, la tele? No. Para ponernos a ver películas y comiendo palomitas. Sí. Yeah, it's about to go mental, mate. Mommy. Hold on, she rock nuts. It's about to go fucking mental. Is this our little girl recording? Because if she is, mate, she's good camera woman. Oh my fucking hell, mate! There's a shadow bastard right in the fucking kitchen! Run! Did you see it? I'll slow it down for you. Watch. As Marsha's daughter is recording her mum, she accidentally catches something paranormal on camera. Come on! Look at you! Look at you! Look at you! Unknown to Marsha and her kids, but they were being watched by something dark and huge. Marcia That's what she found said. <laughs> about the Shadow Man after reviewing her daughter's video on the phone. Then she quickly uploaded it to social media. Warning. The following video might be disturbing to some people. Yeah, please, let's Your go. Your discretion is advised. Oh, yes, indeed we do. Hicimos grabar ahorita porque se está escuchando algo en el closet. Dios mío, ¿qué es eso? ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Quieres algo? Yeah, I've seen this one, mate. I can't remember if it's, a, if, if, if it's an arm, a hand, a face. I can't remember. ¿Qué es eso? No inventes. ¿Qué es eso? Fucking hell. Se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió. Espérate, cálmate, cálmate, cálmate. ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Te podemos ayudar? ¿Necesitas algo? Dinos, dinos. Mate, if that shit's real, that's just absolutely petrifying, right? It's, I mean, it's not for me because I'm, you know, again, I just ramble it. But for the normal person out there, that would be absolutely petrifying. Come on, again. Alúsame, alúsame, alúsame. Espera. What the hell, mate? There's nothing there. Eh, alúsame. No hay nada, mira, no hay nada, no hay nada. No sé, no sé. ¿Sabes qué? ¿Sabes qué? Vamos con los niños. Vámonos con los niños, yo creo, mira. Aquí no hay nada. De este lado tampoco hay nada. I thought there was a face or something. Aquí tampoco. Vámonos con los hand. niños, vente. Now, imagine this. You're lying on your bed. Yeah. And all of a sudden you hear three knocks coming from your cupboard. Yes. First off, that would scare the shit out of me. <laughs> secondly, that would send alarm bells ringing. Because for me, three knocks, taps or bangs represent the Holy Trinity. And whenever you Does hear it? this, it's a mockery of the Holy Trinity. Oh, right. The three represents the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Really? Then, okay, mate. Even more terrifying. What looks like a weird face peeks out from the clothes. If you look at the face, oh, something... Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, we've just been seeing this picture, mate. Look at you with your frog face, mate. Look at you. Huh? Look at the state of you, you shadow bastard. Doesn't look right. Immediately, Joshua jumps up and he does something that only a fraction of people can do in this situation. Rambo he it. doesn't show any fear and when he checks there's nothing in the cupboard that's what i would do mate so, it. what do you think is haunting the loose family ghosts poltergeists or demons fucking everything mate it sounds or like it looks like a combination just like lee's haunting yeah you can visit the family on tiktok instagram facebook or youtube just look up the name it's on screen and tell them project dark knight sent you Okay. Chapter 3. Get the
the merch at kespersite.com. Just Rambo it. What do you think, mate? Do you want me to continue? If you do, let me know below. I really liked it, mate. That's a bloody good... I, li I love the build-up of the stories and stuff. Bloody brilliant. Even the clips I've seen before, it just adds a new twist to it because of, I don't know, just the background story and everything like that, mate. Good job, mate. Good job. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.